the semantic scene segmentation, you will find that most authors focus on the rather core segmentation of the entire indoor scene. What we want to do in this work is we want to go one step deeper and get more details and specifically we want to infer the semantic segmentation of individual furniture items. So what's the task? The task is that we want to find and label the different interaction elements. And as you can tell from these example images here, uh, a naive approach using, for example, naive rectangle detection might not perform uh, as well. So for this reason, we propose a two-step pipeline. The input to our pipeline is already the rectified region of interest, which can be computed in a pre-processing step based on work of other authors. And the first step computes a so-called interaction element proposal. And an interaction element proposal is basically a weighted and labeled rectangle. And we do this by first exhaustively detecting rectangles in what we call a semantic edge map, where a semantic edge is an edge that should correspond to the outline of an interaction element. And this is uh, computed using a random forest. Then we prune away obviously wrong rectangles uh, using an unsupervised pruning step. And not only does this unsupervised pruning step prune away the obviously wrong rectangles, it also yields two bounds on the number of elements in any semantic segmentation that is possible. Meaning any sem semantic segmentation based on these proposals can have at most this upper bound and can must have at least the lower bound which comes out. And finally we weight the proposals. So the first step gave us the proposals and the two bounds, the lower bound and the upper bound. In the second step, we want to select the proposals which will make up the final semantic segmentation. And the paper is called Semantic Segmentation of Modular Furniture. And modular is well defined in this case. So what we do is for any selection of proposals, we can build what we call the modularity tree. So if you have a look on the right, in the bottom layer, we merge, firstly merge the three shelves and the three smaller doors into the wet and blue rectangles respectively. Then we can merge the wet rectangles with the doors and the blue rectangle with the larger doors. But then we get a problem because there are no more similar, similarly sized rectangles. So in order to proceed to the next layer, we do what we call a forced merge. And the idea is that the number of forced merges in the modularity tree is a global indicator for how modular any selection of rectangles is. And we use this in our selection procedure by as the term in our energy function. So for each k between the two bounds, which we got from the first step, we minimize an energy function which is defined over a selection of k proposals. And we want to maximize the modularity by minimizing the number of forced mergers. We want to maximize the label probabilities, which are the weights of the proposals. And we have an additional smoothing term for the labels. And we minimize this energy function using simulated annealing. And finally, the semantic segmentation is given by the scale which has the lowest energy. So if you have if you're interested in the work, please come and visit me at poster B13.